questions. Curious kids send me questions, and I investigate. I was just waiting for the mail. Oh. <laughs> Jumping jellies, we got a letter. Let's read it together. Dear Woby, what is an alligator bellow? From Nolly, age eight. What a wild question. Luckily, I know a bellowing expert. Huh? Mom? Dad? Broby? What's wrong? Hi, Tiny Bro. I I don't know what to do. I I've lost my bellow. Oh no. What does that mean? Well, son, an alligator's bellow is like a song. It's how we share special feelings with each other. We can also bellow to show how tough we are. <sighs> and sometimes, gators bellow in a chorus together. It's my dream. But now I can't bellow at all. Then let's find your bellow. Where? Well, there's nothing in here. But you should brush your teeth more. Okay. I have an idea. We'll squish a bellow out of him. Hug? No, oh, too. Much love can't make sound. Don't worry, I have another idea. Now say ah, uh, a bellow will fall out. Ah, uh, no, I got nothing. Well, if nothing's coming out, let's put something in. Uh, I'm too sad to eat. What if I never bellow again? You'll be okay. You know, Broby, bellowing isn't everything. You really think so? Of course. Bellow or no bellow, you're the coolest. Ah, thanks, tiny bro. I feel a little better. Maybe I will eat. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What goes in must come out. No, Broby. If you can burp, you can bellow. Think of it as a big burp. Okay, I'll try. <gasps> We knew you had it in you. I found my bellow. I can join the bellow chorus. Thank you so much. <laughs> Too much love. Thanks for your wild question. I got to learn so much. See you next time for another great fact-finding adventure. Woohoo! <laughs>